So, I was working on ripping a few DVDs, like, using different things. So VLC has the capability to convert and save and whatnot. But it wasn't quite doing it right. So, basically, I kind of went through, like, going through VLC on a Windows PC, because it had a built-in disk drive. And then I'm like, this is too slow, I can't do it. So I went to my computer, pulled out the external DVD drive that I've held on to since forever, and basically plugged it in because for some reason laptops now don't come with disk drives anymore, or working ones somewhat. But then I started using VLC on that, I got the same results, and I'm like, you know what? I'm doing this all wrong. Like, these are video files anyway on a DVD. All I gotta do is convert them, right? So this process is basically, like, really simple. If you know how a DVD is laid out in its file system, then you can do this really easy. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is stick our DVD into the drive. It's going to take a second to spin up. And it'll show up here eventually. So we've... Get out of here. No, get out of here. Okay. So we've got the audio TS, which is like basically nothing. So video TS is where our main part is, is where all our videos are going to be. So if you're ripping like a movie disc, then it'll probably have like one of either a video ts file or like a vts whatever one video file basically instead of like multiple like this one has um this is actually a dvd for a course my mom is going through and the nice lady that owns the o oh, company and runs the program basically wanted these ripped and converted an mp4 for more convenience purposes so somewhat if what i would recommend doing is kind of like verifying like what is actually like the video and whatnot so like this one didn't come up so we actually start over here and go over here and so the program we're using is ffmpeg and if you've ever converted videos with FFmpeg, you already know what to do. And if you want to keep it in your in the same basically same sized format as the DVD, which I would probably recommend, it should do it automatically by you just giving it what you want it to. So I've already done this with a couple discs. And so Basically, all I'm doing is replacing one part. I could probably script to this part, but I do kind of want to verify that, like, what I'm getting is the right one. So that's why I'm doing it by hand rather than otherwise. And so, of course, we have FFmpeg, and then we put in the I, or dash I, and then our file on the DVD that we're converting. So we're basically taking this one. So disk drive's going to spin up real quick while it loads the video. So this will, the video will come up and play. So that's the video we're converting. <coughs> and we're going to output it to our folder in here. So when I start the process up, we should see that disk three part one has come up. So then you'll basically you'll get, like I said, I've done it already with a couple of them. And so you'll get these parts here similar, except it'll output here. Depending on your file manager, it won't show a preview until you go up. And come on, go back in. And then go back in because at the time it wasn't a completed mp4 so i'm just doing it with two mp4 um ffmpeg is pretty good at 
oh, automatically knowing what formatting to use based on the extension you give it for the output file. And it's pretty good at recognizing what it's converting from. So it'll know what container, a de it'll have a default container to use. So like it's using the MPEG oh, video format with a what AAC. Oh, or it uses H.264 for the video output and then AAC for the audio output. And that's basically standard for most MP4s. And if you did anything else like AUG, of course, it would do it that way as well. So anybody that's used FFmpeg before already knows this, but if you ha wasn't aware of it, FFmpeg is also available on Windows if you're like that horrible to yourself. But it's actually decently easy, and we've already got a video output. Nice. So we go up. Just to, you know, show you that, come on, get in there. And then we've got our video, and it actually loads quicker than otherwise, too. So, because of that. So we can go on to the next one in part two. And then, because of the way it's organized, this will actually become three if you're paying attention. So we're using this one. And then we just start up the process and it spins up. And yeah, that's how you rip DVDs using FFmpeg. Pretty simple process, pretty easy, pretty quick. You can let it sit there and do its thing until it's finished and go and do whatever else you need to do. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Algorithm really seems to like that, and it actually helps it get directly out to more people. And you can even join the chat and interact when I'm not online or what have you in Discord, Gilded, XMPP, and check out my, my streaming stuff. Links are all in the description places, and I will see you guys later.